Hi everybody, I'm Kayla from Oak Tree Veterinary Hospital in Cleveland Heights, Ohio. And today we're going to talk about litter boxes. Now, litter boxes is a very hot topic in the veterinary industry. A lot of times uh, litter box issues are associated with the cat behavioral problems. However, sometimes they can be due to medical issues. So it's always very important before you try any of these to go ahead and take your cat to your local veterinarian to make sure that it is not an issue as far as medically. Now, this is a clear box, a clear storage container, which is the perfect size and the perfect color that cats like. That recent studies have shown cats really do like a litter box where they're able to turn around, bury their feces or their urine, and then turn around again and bury it. So what studies are showing is that cats like the litter box to be one and a half times the length of them. Example, the cat here, one length of the cat, and then about a half to a quarter length of the cat again. Plenty of room for them to turn around and bury. The line that I have here is just to show where you could actually take your box cutter and cut all the way around it, leaving a little bit of a lip too. And that way the cat's able to go in and out just like a normal litter box and then cover up the sharp edge with tape, whether it be duct tape or any tape you want to use. And you can see on the inside of the storage container, there is a lot of room, good width. It's perfect for it. Now if I turn it around, you can also create it this way too. That is usually for cats that are smaller, bigger cats. It's a whole other subject that we can focus on later. And it also, the lip can also be a guideline for you too, as far as how much litter to put in it. Now, another thing that we could talk about would be as far as where to put the litter boxes. Putting the litter boxes in different rooms of the household is what studies are showing cats like the most. Some cats like it very quiet where they go to the bathroom, some cats don't really care, but they definitely like their litter boxes to be in different locations of the household. Now, I know for those of you who live in a smaller living area or apartments, it can be kind of hard. So, you definitely want to make sure that if you have to have the litter boxes in the same room, that you at least do it two feet apart. Now, as far as cleaning out the litter box goes, you want to make sure that you're scooping it at least one time a day, if not more. And cleaning the inside of the litter box should be done weekly, where you completely clean out all the litter that is in there, and then you scrub the whole litter box. Now, when you scrub it, you want to make sure you use a mild soap, mild soaps that won't have a big smell to them, so, or a strong smell to them. So what you'll want to use, what we use here in clinic and what I use personally at home is Dawn dish soap, which will really help with the urine scent and it will also get it very clean. You do not want to use bleach, even if you rinse it out very well. You want to stay away from bleach. Cats are very good at sensing what is going on in there, so they can definitely smell bleach if you keep that in there. So if you have any questions, you can always give us a call here at Oak Tree or remember that we are cat free. Oh my God.